We need to be mechazek ourselves, everybody. Just for Mashiach is coming. That's why we got to mechazek ourselves. Okay, here we go. We're in the Jishat Zion, Oz Bet. Go back to your land, to your birthplace, and I will do good for you. That's in our parsha. Precious, by the way, he's probably going to know this week's parsha falls out on Perak Lev. It's very important. Tzarech Iyun. We need to figure out Ma Kesher Ben Tchilas Hamishpat LaSofel. What's the connection between the beginning of the sentence and the end of it? Klum Iev Shalah Heiti Vitobe Yos B'Chotzer. You can't make it. You can't do good for Yaakov when you're out of Eretz Yisrael. Kosh Baruch You rule the world. You you created the world. You're the be all and end all of everything that exists. You can't do good for Yaakov when he's out of Eretz Yisrael. Yo, it's a good kasha. There's a Pasuk that says that Eretz Yisrael is the land that Akash Baruch Hu is always trying to ask what's going on with it. Doresh HaTamid is constantly asking about the land. The eyes of Akash Baruch Hu are always found looking at Eretz Yisrael. It's a very, very deep pasuk with lots of secrets involved. Iker hashkacha. So the Rebbeinu Bachi explains is Iker hashkacha. So shall Hashem be'er tahi. The main hashkacha, the main influence, and the main action of a kadosh baruch in this world takes place in Eretz Yisrael. Ki bevade kol ha'artos who dorish, because for sure all the lands of kadosh baruch who's asking and, and tries to figure out how it can be how it can be better. Aval inyan ki iker hadrisha v'hashkacha sham. But the main thing is the main asking, right? I can care about how, about about my 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 Hot Wheels car and about my Playmobil car and every other my cars. But my main car is my Lamborghini. I always care about one specific thing. Every single person has something that they care about the most. There's other things that they're constantly asking about because it's part of their property. Things that they care about. I don't know why I just spoke about Hot Wheels cars. That's mom's brain works the crazy way. Marv and I just thought about Hot Wheels cars. I haven't said the word Hot Wheels, maybe since I'm six years old, right? Okay. That's just Marvin I don't know what just happened. Right? But forget the Hot Wheels cards right now. I don't know, I can't forget that. Okay. Okay. We're going to talk about the Lamborghini. I have a Lamborghini I care about the most. There's other things in my property, in my positions that I care about. Mostly my Hot Wheels cards. But the main thing that I care about is Lamborghini. So too. Kaviyachal, Havdil, Elf, Elf, you have those many differences in the, in the Marshall. Hakarish Baruch Hu creates the world. He creates 70 different languages. He creates 70 nations. He creates 70 lands. The main one is Eretz Yisrael. The main nation is Am Yisrael. So the one thing he's constantly asking about is Eretz Yisrael. Not that Hakadosh Baruch Hu doesn't care about other lands, but the main one Hakadosh Baruch Hu cares about and is constantly looking at the Rishis are not so much on it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year is Eretz Yisrael. Continuing, Umishamit Pashat the Shara Artus. The bracha all comes in. The main drisha is going into Eretz Yisrael. The main asking, the main influence goes into Eretz Yisrael, and from Eretz Yisrael all the bracha comes out of it. And he comes down, and in the rest of the piece, he goes on to explain. There's more. There's more psukim all throughout the Torah, where Hakadosh Baruch Hu shows that he cares. That he's constantly looking at Israel. The bracha goes to Israel specifically. Again, these are not complicated concepts. These concepts of Israel. Israel is for the simple Jew. It's for the everyday Jew. Israel is something that's for us to understand. It's not a crazy concept. Hakadosh Baruch Hu loves Israel. Hakadosh Baruch Hu loves Am Yisrael. If a person wants bracha in their life, they have to be in Israel. It's very simple. Yes, you can have gashmis, you can have physical pleasures, you can have the world of money in, in, in other lands, in other countries. But real bracha, real tov, real good, again, we're not defining what tov is, but real tov, the definition of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to be giving us in the world, the tov, the definition of what that is, and I want to go into right now, because I can't define it, because tov is undefinable, but whatever that is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to give us, it comes in the most pure sense to the world in Eretz Yisrael. That's the mile of Eretz Yisrael, that's the level of Eretz Yisrael, and that's what a Kanish Baruch Hu, when he, he wanted Yaakov Avinu to come to Eretz Yisrael specifically for this. He wanted to give Yaakov Avinu the purest level of Tov in the world. That's Torah's Eretz Yisrael. Moving on to Kedush Yislevi. Gavalt the Mamta Gavalt Dinim. I have to figure out which piece I want to learn. They're all Mamas, the greatest. Okay, we're going to learn the Atta Amarta Hete Vetivimach, the first piece on the bottom of the right side of the page. I think, and if it doesn't work, then we're going to get the next one. Farmish, Kedush Levi's drugs. Put it right in my veins. Perush! <laughs> the explanation of this passage, And you said you're going to do the Mamish, the greatest of the greats for me. What does it mean? What is this? A lot of people ask, what's this double lotion? I will do good, good. 
Perish I tivi mach she hey hatev beit galia lekol that the good that you're doing to me. Look, Kadosh Baruch Hu sent this piece to us. We first learned right to Israel, and the good it comes. Are trying to understand what does it mean good? What's good mean? Now, oh, that's good. That's good. We just said I can't describe good right now. The Jewish lady says, "Shut up, you're a flaming idiot." Yoda Friedman, you'll now explain what Tov is because the Kedusha Levi is the Mount of Baldinim. I said no. Kedusha Levi says yes. We follow the yes. The Kedusha Levi. He says like this: The definition of good is that the Chesed of a Kedusha Baruch Hu, which is constantly coming into the world, is Bitgalia. That was good because it happened. Even though it hurt, it was good. Bitgalia, but it's revealed. When me smashing in the face, even though it happened, I'm sure it's good, but it's not revealed. But real Tov, what's Tov? Tov is when the chesed is revealed. Shalif ami mish chasad mechusim. Sometimes the chesed is hidden; it's covered by so many klipas. She ain't near the eye, and you, your eye can't see it. Our eyes are physical things. Our eyes are sheker. The eyes lie to us all the time. The other rabba near shayara. That tov mechusim. It does even the opposite. Not that it's it's chesed, but it's bad, but it's not easy to understand. The eye that never says it. The eye never says, "Oh, that was really good," but I just it's very hard to see it. The eye says that stunk. Right? You go to my limb for four days and you pick up trash for three days. I don't know, maybe that's just a personal story. Yes, it happened. I went and picked up trash for three days in the army this week. And what happens? So, it stinks. Every second of it stinks. And that's the meat of the ayin. The ayin says that trash is, has nothing to do with Kedusha Zerit Yisrael. Even though every single time you pick up a dirty hummus can, really that's part of Yeshiv Aretz. That is a mitzvah of Yeshiv Aretz Yisrael. Every time you make something beautiful in the land of Eretz Yisrael, it's part of being the Yash of Yisrael. It's a mitzvah deray, so you should bar it. Mitzvah, not a mitzvah, whatever. Don't get into the machlokas really. Mashe'en kin ba'as is haboy baruchu ches min the gula when a kodesh baruchu. There's a ches in the gula. It's a revealed ches. He does revealed kindness to us. He ma'adam az had tov hu megula. Then when a kodesh baruchu a kodesh baruchu does. Wow, it's so hard for me to say a kodesh baruchu just now. Get a daven. Right? And when a Kaddish Baruch Hu does chesed for us, the tov is, is that the, the chesed is always happening. The chesed is always in our lives. The chesed is constantly coming and, and hitting us in the face left and right. We don't know how it's even coming at us. It's, it's, it's a constant thing. The malachim are surrounding us constantly. Chesed is constantly happening in our lives. Everything in the world is chesed. The reason this table that we're, that we're learning on is able to even exist in a, in a table form is Kaddish Baruch Hu is sending powers of chesed at it. Now, that chesed is tov. This is clearly a good table, and therefore it's revealed. But when 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 a, when a chasam when a, a, a chasam a Hamas person sends a chasam at Eretz Yisrael, I don't know how yet. That's chesed. That's not tov. That is chesed. Not sure how. That's chesed. What Yaakov Vina was davening for is heitev etiv imach. The Kadosh Baruch Hu said, "I will do good. I will do chesed that is revealed to you." That's the highest level of being on connection to Kadosh Baruch Hu. When a person is able to take everything in your life and not just say, "Oh, that was good," and it was just and it was hidden. Oh, wow. Gamzeyavor. Not Gamzeyavor. Gamzeyavor means this stinks and I hope it should pass. Gamzeyavor is a, a cynical term that we should never have to use. Gamzeyavor. Gamzeyavor. This is for the good. But even okay, then, that so meter of, 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 of Nachum Yish Gamzu, of Gamzu Latova, that's already, maybe, it could be, it could be I'm lying. But it could be Gamzu Latova is saying, this is also for the good, but it's not, it's not revealed yet. But the highest level of, of recognizing Kadesh Baruch was when it is completely revealed, you don't even have to say that. Yes. I think that that's a very good question. Is it coming? Is the Hakadosh Baruch who sends the Chesed into the world in a revealed way and in a hidden way, and we have it depending on how we're doing, we get it, or is it um, my inclination would to be my liver is telling me as as Chazal would say. My liver is telling me that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends Chesed into the world. The way that we experience it is based on our own level, I think. Could be wrong. Ask your local Orthodox Rabbi for a real answer. Yeah. I'm not going to get into cynical Israeli terms right now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I've had too much Israeli time to speak. Okay, that's a Kedush Leib Mantik Dinim. Ah, Shibizoche. Forgot to do this. Leviyitz from Sarah Sasha, me Berdichev. Say Berdichev over and over again. Say Leviyitz from Sarah Sasha over and over again. It makes your life sweeter. Ben Sarah Sasha. From Leviyitz from Sarah Sasha. Say the name, say the place, the city, Berdichev over and over and over again. It'll make your life sweeter. We know this, we say it all the time. Berdichev, Berdichev, Berdichev. Mama, it makes your life so much sweeter. I'm telling you. It's true. Okay. Quit teaching from Baal Shem Tov. 
and then a quick story teaching about the Baal Shem Tov from his grandson. He's about to get a family tree here. Torah Yud Gimel from the Baal Shem Tov, which is to connect to the Tzaddik, the real Tzaddik, the Baal Shem Tov, really understand this on the deepest levels, even though it's only three and a half sentences, words. No, the Baal Meha Baal Shem Tov, it's a known fact, this is the Sefer Dudayim Besadeh. That's telling us this teaching in Parshas Baloscha. We're bringing it in Parshas Vayishlach. No, the Mehav Bal Shem Tov, Sha'adam al Yidei Dibur Yotim and Hachius. That through a person's speech, you are able to fulfill your true level of life. Yo, man, I feel like I'm living. Right? That guy says it after he just jumped off a building with a rope tied to his waist. He's not really living. He just almost experienced death, and now he's breathing again for the first time after he just jumped off a building. A person who really lives for the first time and really lives constantly through holy speech. It's a very, very basic teaching in the concept of Judaism, in the world of Hasidus, of speaking in the proper way, speaking to people in the proper way. Rak Aidei Dibore Kedusha, only through holy speech. Torah and Tefillah, through speaking words of Torah and th- speaking words of Tefillah and prayer. Balo Chiyas Chadash, every, you want to, I, I feel it, I need to renew myself, rejuvenate. Go to a spa, don't go to a spa, go to the base measures. When you speak the Bray Kedushim, when you speak holy words of Kedusha, words of Torah and Tefillah, you come to a new level of Chiyas, you renew yourself. The, the Malachim were Ratz of Ashov. They're going back and forth. Rabbi Nachman speaks about this also, and of course he's taking from Hashem to his great grandfather. The concept of, of, of constantly renewing ourselves and, and, and getting a new level of Chiyas. To renew my life every single day and every single second, I should be renewing myself, renewing my Avodah Hashem. So he asks us, how do I do that? How do I feel? How do I come to a place where putting my tefillin is a new thing? How do I come to a place where putting my titches is a new thing? Where does all, where do all these kokos come from? So the Baal Shem Tov comes and tells us this deep secret. Through your speech, it's very simple. If a person is able to attack in their mouth, to fix the way they use their speech, the, the, the one meat that we have that's different than an animal, so then we can be constantly coming to a level of chiddush, of, 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 of freshness and newness in our lives. Because Torah and tefillah, it's part of, it's part of the Briyos Olam. HaKadosh Baruch was constantly renewing things. And the tool he uses to renew the world is through Torah and tefillah. So if we're able to connect our mouths to the Torah and tefillah, so we can connect ourselves to the level of rejuvenation. I, it's two sentences, I explained it. I, I don't really know. I'm sure this is a much longer piece that if we looked at the Dayan Basada, we'd find the much deeper secrets about it. We didn't. We didn't see it. Basically, again, simple concepts. We're not talking about capitalistic ideas here. Maybe this is a capitalistic idea. And we're just a bunch of fakers. But Dudayim Masada is telling us, use your mouth for the proper way. That's it. It's very simple. You want to be close to Kadesh Baruch? You want to get Chiyas? You want to get his Chachos in your life? Speak properly. Simple words for simple people. Crazy story. Odi Shomer Kiv Makhilei Avarati Seyad and Hazeh. Tegamach Nefraim, left side of the page, the one in the middle. Odi Shomer. The Pasuk says, Only with only a walking stick that I cross the Yardane. And then he comes on to continue to explain how he became very, very Baruch Hashem. He had two machanot. He had two families and split them up into, he had a family split up into two camps. Al-Derech Shesiper, Avni Aviz Keni, Nishamas, Nishmaso Eden. Let's talk about the Vashem Tov. The Vashem Tov used to say this beautiful thing. Shepam Achas, Avar Hanaster, Beli Shum Shem. One time the Baal Shem Tov came to this, this river. No one knew how to cross it. There's no bridge. There's nothing happening. So what did the Baal Shem Tov do? The Baal Shem Tov took off his belt, laid it on top of the water, and tiptoed across his belt. I made it to the other side, picked up his belt, put it back on, and everyone else was astounded. What? No. Tie your robe. Whatever. I don't know what he's wearing. So Hashem w- walks across the water walking on his tightrope belt. What's going on? What's the secret behind this? He, he said, when they asked him, what did you just do? You walked across the river on your belt. He said, I didn't walk across the river on my belt. I walked across with my Muna. What? The word my walking stick is Gemacho Yaakov. That was my walking stick. I, I came over the Arden with the shame Yaakov, with the gematri of Yaakov of Vinu. I crossed, I crossed the river. With the name of Yaakov, Yaakov is the meat of Emes. Emes the Yaakov. I mean, the, Yaakov is the meat of Emes of truth, of the beautiful, of the, of the perfect line right between Chesed and Gura. It's the truth, it's the truth of everything. 
Behind the godel emuna shalo, with the great level of his own emuna of realizing the emes of the world, bezeh varet yeti arding. With the koach of that emuna, I was able to cross the river. Yaakov Avinu had emuna. He believed in Kadosh Baruch Hu. He saw one thing in the world. He saw Kadosh Baruch Hu. He saw the existence of Kadosh Baruch Hu. I don't want to go too long on this piece because we're already out of time. We're not going to just He crossed the Arden. Yaakov Avinu crossed the Arden. That's a big feat. For Amisha, when they came back in, in, into Eretz Yisrael, Kadosh Baruch had to, split, had to split it for them. Big Nate, he had to split the Arden for them. It used to be very deep. But now, Kadosh Baruch Yaakov Avinu is crossing the Arden. He doesn't have a sea split. He crosses with his, with his with his walking stick. So how does he cross with his walking stick? Makila is Yaakov with the level of the Muna. Basically, because I have to finish right now, Yaakov Avinu teaches us that when you have a Muna, when you have real Muna, we see that the world is Emma. When you see a truth in the world of a Kadosh Baruch Hu, so then you can change everything in the world that works in front of you. It's very simple. So I'm really sorry I have to end really quickly. But it's Shalom the Makam of Bracha. That's what Shatzion says. Real Bracha, real good happens in Eretz The Kedushas Levi tells us that that the real good is when it's when it, when when the Chesed is revealed to us from a Kedush Baruch Hu. The Hashem Tov teaches us that that to really re- get to the level of Emuna and and Chiyus Chadash from a Kedush Baruch Hu is through Dibur and Kedoshim through Holy Speech. And then we have a, the Ma'isa Nifla from Baal Shem Tov, where Imamish crosses the river walking on his belt because of his Amuna. We have that Amuna. We should be Zohar to this. We have teachings from our Tzadikim, teachings from Baal Shem Tov, teachings from the Levi Zikim and Sarasash, and the Radish of teachings from all the different Tzadikim. We can come to the highest levels of Amuna.